G'day YouTubers, how you all going? My name's Wilfred West, Wilfred's PC World, Lakeside Cottage in Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Today's date is the 6th of the 3rd, 2015, and it's um, about, say, 18 past uh, 11 in the morning. Um, now, I hope you like this video, and if so, please subscribe. Now I've set the um, camera again up on top of the um, on top of the dash again. I was wanting to give that give that a better look. I think um, I've got the furry mic now back on the on the uh, seat belt. Well, I've been listening to the radio lately, and um, one of the comments that I find interesting is um, what the uh, Labor Party wants to do to um, uh, some of the, change some of the laws in Labor Party, change some of the laws in uh, Victoria. See, what happened last election, right, was the Liberals got their asses handed to them on a silver platter in Victoria, okay? They wanted to build this east-west um, link, which Victorians didn't want. No one wanted the ton no one wanted those houses destroyed. No one wanted to um, have all that there, and they re and everybody realised that it's going to be obsolete before it even got started, type thing. So with that in mind, right? So it's going to so they went ahead and signed the contracts. So, um, I think that was less than six months before the election. Now, I think that was wrong, um, and I thought, well, to myself, well, what the Labor Party wants to do is make an amendment so we, we don't have to pay compensation to a company. Now, I think the Labor Party has hit, hit the nail on the head what we should do, right? Um, because honestly, I don't think we should pay compensation to a company because another another part another com another government gets power, right? To do that, a perfect example is like most Melbourneites are probably paying for the distillation plant in Victoria, which is probably the biggest white elephant in the universe. It will never be used in our lifetimes, and it will never be used in our children's or great or great grandchildren's lifetimes. Um, that's my personal opinion. And they're paying millions of dollars a day to keep this thing up and running. I don't know how much exactly. I'm not a politician, but they're not using it. So that's kind of a, that's kind of pointless. That's I know it's a, not an exact same sample, but it's an example of a less of um, how big business then basically just milks the governments. And with the Liberals, this is a perfect example what I'm trying to say. If, say, the Labor Party has an objective and they want to do a big project, right, and it's six months before, 12 months to six months before the election, they should not, by any means, sign any documentation, either Liberal, Labor, 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 or if, the, if the, God forbid, the Greens get in, right, sign anything to do with big work with the businesses. Uh, they should be put off until the election. For a simple reason, because if you can say um, Liberals get in and they didn't want that project, right? Like Tony Abbott is not going to give any money to Victoria. He goes, oh no, that, that money is earmarked for the East Whistling. But let's say um, they get in and they didn't want that project. Why should that why should that party who was voted by the majority of Victorians right, have to pay and bail down to big business because another party did so. So this is the thing I'm really, really, really annoyed. We in Victoria now are being forced, right, um, unless the government can change the laws, to say, hey, we're going to pay us compensation. We're not going to help you build um, a train track or anything like that because you, you, your previous, your, the other government previously... Um, one of this car, one of this uh, road to go through. Right? If we ever get down there, if, if if we cannot change this, then we might as well just have one fucking political party, 
night, play crush it, and you know, let them do what they want to do without us saying anything. Okay, that's what it's getting down to. We do not want to ever get down that pathway where big business tells our governments what to do and what they can't do, and gets compensation for God's sakes, right? On their pro on on a, on a on a bid that the people people didn't want in the first place. If people did not want, uh, say that road, they don't want this road to go from east east to west. They didn't want that road. Right? The Liberal Party knew this. They knew they were going to lose election, but they still signed this paperwork. Right? And they still went ahead and did that before the election. Now, I'm sorry, but I'm saying six months to 12 months before an election, there should be no um, paperwork signings like that. No, um, I'd say six months at the, at the, at, at the most. Oh, anyway, we'll keep going and uh, I'll keep talking more.